now? Nine months now, I think. Uh -huh. So have you talked to a lot of Koreans in English? Yes, I'm working in a Korean company. Yes. Yeah, um, like a fair amount. Yeah, I mean, my job is speaking to uh, Koreans in English, actually. <laughs> How would you evaluate Koreans' English skills? Most Koreans will have some knowledge of English. Everyone does it in school, right? I figure everybody in Korea like knows some English. The biggest weakness is speaking, right? They usually have good grammar, but not good speaking. Their English is a lot better than my Korean, so I'm impressed. <laughs> they can't speak English very good, and so they're really afraid. When I came here, I was just walking down the streets. I wanted to ask uh, some Korean people some questions, but they was like, no, don't talk to me. <laughs> I didn't expect them to be very good, but they were a lot better than I thought they were. And like they all know like basic things. Uh -huh. It's communicatable, you know, we can understand each other. I think I've had good Korean English and I've had like really questionable Korean English. They haven't had a lot of experience speaking it a lot. They like, they know the words, but they don't know how to create like full sentences. So when they try to respond, it's a little hard. Maybe speaking's not as good, but grammar's quite good. So compared to other East Asian speaks, it's usually quite good. Thank yeah. you. Hmm, you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah. It's just a little bit of the pronunciation is the problem. I think there's definitely some with like heavier accents, but it's not to the point where I can't understand what they're trying to say. It's um, better than I expected it would be. So what did you expect before you actually talked to them in English? Just that they would say yes and no. Uh -huh. I wouldn't know any Korean at all. They know English and like I'm kind of relieved that they do. So do you think Koreans are confident in their English? What do you think? Koreans can be very shy as well. Often they're like, oh god, I don't understand anything. What if I get it wrong? What if they don't understand my pronunciation? I think some are very confident and some are like kind of scared. Like when I try to ask them and they don't, they know they don't know, understand English, then they won't try to speak to me. And they get a little like embarrassed speaking. Oh, was my English okay? And I'm like, yeah, it was fine, it was fine. Why do you think people are so conscious about their English? I think it's something in the culture, like you don't want to be wrong. Like you're very scared of being wrong in any way, so you don't want to speak it if you don't know it for sure. But if you don't do that, you don't get the practice either. Let's see, I think that their English is a unique case because Koreans really like to, I feel like, study from a piece of paper. So Koreans know a lot of vocabulary and that is definitely their strong point. But when it comes to speaking or listening, I think like their hearts flutter because they're not used to it and then all of a sudden they like freeze, start laughing and stop talking in English. Koreans really want to be like confident that every word is exactly correct and every grammar point is right on point but a lot of times you have to just let words kind of naturally come out and even if they're a little bit wrong, like that's how you learn and that's how you hear like, oh that was awkward, next time I better say it this way. You have to make a lot of mistakes to eventually get good. Just like little kids learning a language, right. just know that everyone shouldn't be confident when they're learning a new language. So you have to just pretend like you're confident right. and speak like loudly, clearly, and keep going over it. And those like people that are awkward and speak too much, even when they're not good at English, are the ones that usually end up actually becoming the best. Right. That's because how they, like, I was actually. Right. I they, think that's how you learn Korean too, and you speak Korean pretty fluently be one of those weird people that comes up to me even though you're not confident and says like hey like where are you from what are you doing yeah, and like all this like no one says it like perfectly right the first time but after you practice and keep on doing it it becomes natural and that's where you can like listen and practice right practice makes perfect exactly thank you you're welcome <laughs> thank you